What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well, having a really great day. As you can see, the snow all over the ground. It's uh, the crunchy kind. It's like got ice on it and I almost ate shit walking down this thing over to my ladder earlier. It was hysterical. Anyways, I have a question for you guys today in today's video. Now we're going to talk about some solar stuff and solar locations. That's really the, the question here. But first things first, all of these octo miners, what on earth should I do with them? I have 11 here, if I'm not mistaken. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Yeah, I got 11. They're all octo miners. I think most of them have all of the PSUs in them. I think they're all 120 volt. Maybe there's a 240 volt one in here, but either way, I don't know what the hell to do with these. Like, should I sell them on Facebook Marketplace? Does anybody buy these things? Like, I don't even know. Like, are they just going to die here? I don't know. Maybe we'll build a fort. Anyways, solar panels. Right there. I got them old set up from way back in the day. I got the poles there, as you guys know from the old um, videos I had. That setup was originally exactly where this uh, location for the shed is right now, right? And I want to utilize the 2,000 watts of panels that I have and get some power to this shed. I think that would be a fantastic idea if we just got... Um, maybe a little electrical panel in here next to the disconnect for the solar on top of this roof, right? If I did an electrical panel here and I ran live power from the trailer, and if I did that, then I could divvy up some power to get lights, you know, under here, under the uh, soffit to kind of lighten up the shed at night and um, lights inside. Cause I mean, right now it's a freaking disaster. Don't judge me, but the darkness in here at night is brutal coming in with a flashlight and trying to figure stuff out i gotta organize all this shit too and man it's windy out today these doors are just slamming back and forth gotta keep this thing closed but what do you guys think i should do is that a good idea getting those panels set up and having some power in here with the old grow watt set up right like i was mentioning i would probably leave all of the solar stuff or the inverter anyways like the old inverter that I got, uh, I think I just got it off Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I would just leave it, oh, almost just ate shit again. Right here on the wall, exactly where it is, with all these batteries still set up. I might have to liven up a plug in here, though, to keep these batteries warm in the wintertime, because it is freaking cold in here. I mean, they're all disconnected right now, but if I livened that grow watt up again, right, I could obviously replace the inverter eventually, but in the springtime, we could dig a trench get some like, I don't know, 12 2 wire, direct burial, just right here from the trailer over to the shed. And then, you know, the fire hazard, which is the batteries, right? They would stay in the trailer. So worst case scenario, that thing burns to the ground. Everything in the shed is safe. I think that's kind of a, a cool idea. And it would be nice to actually utilize, like I said, all those solar panels. But the question here is where the hell do I put the solar panels? I don't know if I want to put them like here because I actually like having fires here and I think I want to build some sort of like overhang here for some like firewood and I might move a little fire pit like over here so we could actually sit around it and kind of be covered and all that stuff but I haven't fully decided on that yet. I was originally thinking over here, man it's windy, I hope, I hope the wind's not too hard right now on the uh, camera but I was originally thinking like over here, plant some solar panels, right? But the only unfortunate part is if I do that during the winter time, you can see the sun's over there, right? When the earth's axis is changed in the, or you know, a different angle in the summertime, it's over here, it's more centered in the sky. Now it's behind this tree line. So if I put panels here, I'd have to keep them completely flat more or less most of the day. And it's only gonna get trickles of sun through the trees here. And that's gonna be a real problem. So I don't think I'm actually gonna do that. I don't think that's a great idea to put them over there. I mean, it would be cool to maybe move them over there where my pergola is, because that pergola is freaking killing it all year round, literally 24 seven, gets all the sun that I could ever ask for, even more than this shed, obviously. This is on this side, facing the opposite way to collect whatever you know it can when the sun's going down. And it still does good during the winter time, but it's not like obviously as great as the pergola. If I could put more over there, that would be cool, but that would really ugly up my yard and getting the wire from there over to the trailer is nearly impossible. So we are not gonna do that. I think um, the only options are really putting something here, maybe building some sort of mini like 
angled pergola thing between these two trees and I don't know that's still obviously a long shot or we could put things back here I don't think I can get back here because the snow we're gonna have to go through the house yep we gotta go through the house that ain't gonna work god it's cold out man it is cold and there's ice right there on the deck I probably would have just ate it come on come outside come on that's my dog she's the best all right I'm trying not to die on these steps right now but this is what I'm thinking over here maybe right my dog loves being outside all the time. It's a pain in the ass to get her inside. Oh, and I almost just ate it. <laughs> Dude, this snow is killing me. Anyways, if I built a dog house of some sort or like a little area that like would basically shelter her from the rain or anything along those lines when she's outside, even if it was a dog house, the platform and like, you know, a slight angle, kind of like the pergola that I have set up in the front yard, something similar to that, but like covered on all sides for her, I could DIY that and put the solar panels on top of it because you can see the sun's hitting my hand right here, right? It does more or less, once it gets past these trees over my house, it nails everything right here, right? I mean, it's not very long during the day, but it still does get sun. And I think it's a great option. It's either that or I mean, I could put them over here, but I, I really have different plans for over here during the uh, springtime next year. I'm gonna be doing like a patio hangout area back here and we can kind of get into that, I guess, in a little bit. But um, yeah, do you guys think that would be kind of a good idea? Maybe doing some sort of doghouse hangout thing. Like that side of my yard is kind of just like a dead area. We don't really go over there. The kids play in the front yard for the most part. This is really just where the dog hangs out, digs holes all over my freaking yard. That's uh, that's really it there. And as you can see, this is where I actually started building a pool deck. Now I actually hand dug a 12 by 24 foot pool into the ground right here, about two and a half feet and it's about two and a half feet or so roughly above the ground. And um, I started building this floating deck all the way around it. I'm gonna end up actually doing a, uh, some sort of like, I don't know, area for the filter with like a, I wanna do like a rock waterfall type deal thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually get to that, but I am going to finish this in the springtime, get the Trex decking all the way around this. And unfortunately I didn't uh, record myself building all of this, but, I totally should have. It was just, it was nice to not have the camera and get some shit done during the uh, summertime by myself with the kids. I didn't have to worry about editing and stuff. So that's mainly why I didn't bother making videos of this. But if you guys want to see me do the rest of the treks and button up the rest of this deck, I can absolutely do that. <clears throat> uh, but my plan is here to build, obviously, stairs coming down. I want to do like a, a patio seating area with a little fire pit to like actually hang out and not like burn random stuff like actually burn normal logs hang out with friends have drinks whatever and like you know put like a grill over here somewhere that would be the ideal plan so i get the grill off my deck but uh yeah i don't know that's kind of why i don't want to do like the pergola sun stuff here and the reason i got all these uh poles super long if you guys are wondering about that my plan here was to do like a privacy fence on the right and left side because when you're standing up standing up on the deck you're actually you know your top I guess is pretty much even with or above the top of the fence here so people are just like staring at you so I don't know if I'm gonna do like a privacy fence on the like all sides or what or if I'm gonna hang some sort of uh shade covering kind of like uh those restaurants I don't know if you ever seen those like triangle shaped uh I don't know, it's like a mesh kind of, just to kind of give you some shade. I was thinking about doing that because this Trex decking, no joke in the summertime, gets so damn hot. It's actually unbelievable. But I did end up going and getting all the Trex and I just ran out of time this uh, summer. I didn't have a chance to button up all that, but um, everything's there. We should have enough to hopefully finish everything for the most part. So that's, that's the plan anyways. I'll be doing that in the summer, but Again, my main focus is to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with these solar panels that I have sitting in the shed because they're just right now sitting there being a waste of uh, money as are the batteries and all the other stuff in the trailer over there. And uh, the other, you know, plus to the panels actually being back here, the condenser for that 
DIY uh, EG4 mini split unit, right? The condenser that actually sits here that came from Signature Solar, shout out to them. That can run directly off of solar panels. So that could be a cool option to divert some of the power or some of the panels. So I have 2000 watts, right? There's like 20 panels. I don't know if I'd put that many back here, but if I did 10 panels here, I could run them directly to this and run this guy because it has an in and out for um, solar directly on the actual condenser here itself. You can just run it directly off the DC power. That would be super cool to have that as an option when I actually do go to hook that up in the uh, summertime. And I mean, obviously we could build this a little bit bigger, so I could put all 20 panels back here. I'm just not entirely sure, to be honest. I don't know what I want to do. So I am looking for suggestions of what you guys think I should build, what I should do back here or out front just something to do with those panels and then obviously I need your guys input on what in the hell I am going to do with all those octaminers and all those freaking frames and all this other shit that I have just kind of kicking around and uh yeah that's really it but I don't know guys it is freezing out here I have an any at this point we're going in yeah it's too cold outside it's too cold outside anyways guys listen I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and uh just kind of chit chat but yeah give me some uh Give me some suggestions down in the comments below. I do want to, um, I want to build some stuff. I want to do some things DIY style for you guys, but what in the hell we're going to do? That's really the, uh, the biggest question here. But anyways, you guys have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.